live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Keto Cooking. Welcome back, Keto Cooking. I'm Tom, the Keto Cook. Today, it is Friday. That means happy hour. We're going to do a keto happy hour and appetizers. So I'm going to have a little cocktails, and I'm sure everybody heard of bacon-wrapped shrimp. Well, today we're going to do it a little different. Today I'm going to be smoking uh, some of the bacon. We're going to have it... uh, uh, burnt end style and also I'm going to be doing some some shrimp in the smoker just put a little smoke onto it finish it up into a pan uh, it's going to be like, almost like a scampi but I'm going to use some different rubs I'm going to use some of the rubs that I've uh, purchased and I tell you what some of this stuff is really really good so we're going to do this in a different way and right now I'm going to take a break and a word from our sponsor here at Tiki Tom's Coconut Grill we can change your look We're the only ones that serve Patty Joe beer. That's right, Patty Joe beer. We have tall boys, and we also have extra tall boys. If you really want to change your look, try a Patty Joe beer. Well, that boy got extra ugly, didn't he? He got ugly drunk, didn't he? Patty Joe beer sponsored this program. Okay, back to the task at hand. I got some Daddy Dutch Sweet Heat, it's called. I'll tell you what, it's good stuff. And it does bring the heat. But I'll just use a little bit of it because it does have some uh, honey powder in it. Uh, shouldn't throw me too far off, but I just use a little bit of it because well, I tell you what, it is it is hot. But I tell you one thing, it is a great, great rub if you like hot stuff. And there's my SPGO, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. rack a little bit more advertising time for daddy dutch good stuff i don't know if he still makes that or not but he told me i had i got the last two bottles anyway here's our sponsor again into the smoker 250 degrees until the bellies are crisp now i'm not going to turn around the table one hour two hours whatever daddy already done i put a little bit of gu's in there just to moisten them up a little bit more i'll give it a little bit of extra flavor and it's got heat to it believe me now for the shrimp Freshly ground parsley flakes that I made. I'm going to be putting in also my salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. That's going to go in there. And today I'm going to be putting in, for the shrimp, I'm going to be putting in some gator shake into it. Now, not a lot, just a little bit. Uh, just to coat the bottom of the pan and to go on to the shrimp. And i tell you one thing. This gave it a great flavor. This is good stuff. Uh, every one of these rubs that I've, that I've got, from Drunken Chef uh, Barbecue, his rubs, to Daddy Dutch, to uh, Uncle Steve's, and i got to pat myself on the back, too, for my blends. Uh, really good. Really good stuff. Now, I'll flip this around, get a good coating on the shrimp. The shrimp came out of the smoker. I put it, in, I put it into the smoker, uh, not for a long time, okay, just till it turned color. Uh, it was still a little raw in the middle. Uh, which is fine and uh, I'm gonna finish these off into the pan and that, and that blend that I put on there uh, Uncle Steve's my uh, salt pepper garlic an onion and my parsley a little bit of butter the aroma is like whew, I think we come on to something new here now also I added in the pork belly because after all I mean this is bacon wrapped shrimp right I think well, anyway going to get ready to put this on a plate man oh man oh man my mouth is watering for this one the shrimp was absolutely delicious the pork belly now this one was a little bit thicker from the last couple I got Uh, I wanted to try all different sizes on it and I'm telling you wow very very good this was a beautiful Friday afternoon Uh, we had I had a little bit of vodka and my homemade ginger ale there you go and we just sat back and enjoyed the little bit of pickies that we had. Good stuff. Hey, listen, thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one for uh, subscribing and liking. And I tell you what, I've getting a lot of comments. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Try a keto dish. And don't get that ugly when you drink. Take care, everybody. Tom Garber, the Keto Cook. Like and subscribe. Talk to you later.